the sixth and final of the select clauses that we'll be looking at, well, this is all over the place. These purchase orders are not in the right order. We can order it using the word order by. So I want this query to be ordered by the purchase order ID. So if I execute that, now you can see it's in the right order. And now I can easily scroll to purchase order ID 4007. And we can see that the total is 554020, which is the totality of all of these particular rows. So they're having worked. Now, order by doesn't necessarily need to be from A to Z, or A to Z, in ascending order. It could be in descending order, and for that we use DESC, or descending. So there we can see it's going from 4,012 down to 7. So we've had a look at all of these clauses. Now, if you were going for a job interview, as I said previously, it may be the case that you've got to just write your select query on a piece of paper or in a Word document without access to SSMS. And one of the things that an interviewer would be looking for is to make sure that you've got these clauses in the right order. If you've got them in the wrong order, that's a certain sign that you are new to SQL Server. That's bad. So how can I ensure that I get it in the right order? And this is quite easy if you're using an English keyboard or Spanish keyboard, because if I just get an on-screen keyboard, let's have a look if I just put the word where in here, so where product ID greater than one, let's say, to give all six clauses. Let's take the first letter of each of these and see where they are on the keyboard. S, F, W, G, H, O. With just one exception, we start with select and we work left to right. Select from group by having order by. The one exception is where. And we have to remember that that's third after select from where, group by having order by. So if you've got an English keyboard in front of you, then you automatically know the order. It just goes from left to right, with just one exception. Now this works on an English keyboard, American keyboard, Spanish keyboard. It might not work on others. If you're using the QWERTY keyboard system, then it should work. So this is a really top tip if you are going in for a job interview and or if you're just trying to show people that you are familiar with SQL, it is a rookie's mistake to get these six clauses in the wrong order. But now you won't because you just look down at your keyboard and remember the right order. Select from where, group by, having and order by. And that is the select statement. Obviously, there's a lot more detail that we can go into, but this is as far as we need to go in this introductory course.